Is it due an eruption? Scientists are baffled about the activity of Old Faithful Geyser at Yellowstone Supervolcano at the National Park. We know that it goes off very regularly, and we know that Yellowstone has over 60% of the world's geysers and over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. And this is the mantle plume that uh, goes up through Utah into Yellowstone, as we can see here at the cross section. And that red blob that you see between the Pacific Ocean and Yellowstone is where we've been having our recent earthquakes in um, Idaho. Both Idaho and Utah have volcanoes there. Idaho has nine, and uh, Utah has eight uh, south of Salt Lake City, where we've been having the earthquake swarms. And the 6.5 magnitude earthquake of Idaho, near Boise, Idaho, uh, has been uh, has shaken Yellowstone, and the geologists did tell us that they that uh, size an earthquake could have changes could cause changes in the plumbing system of Yellowstone. Nothing else except the plumbing system, which means that it could have an effect on the geyser system. So could this be what's going on now? The changes with Old Faithful. This is what the scientists are baffled about, the activity of Old Faithful Geyser. And one scientist claims that the supervolcano could be overdue with another eruption. Although this is not what Mike Poland is uh, telling us. Now, the Yellowstone caldera, as we know, is underneath the northwest part of Wyoming. It also spreads into Montana and Idaho. And it's uh, named supervolcano because of the ability to inflict a super eruption, which would affect the globe, the world on a, on a worldwide level. It's always monitored by the U.S. Geological Survey, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, for signs of any deformation or any unusual, or any geological changes. Something uh, that has only happened three times in recent history, 2.1 million years ago, super eruption, 1.3 million years ago, another super eruption, and 640,000 years ago, another super eruption. Uh, 70,000 years ago, a lava eruption, another 80 eruptions since that 70,000 year ago lava eruption. And some claim a super, super eruption may be overdue. Some scientists admit they do not completely understand what is going on below the Earth's surface. Uh, they say that there is a mantle plume there, as we saw before going from Baja and feeding into Yellowstone. And uh, they don't really know. This is just uh, re recently uh, uh, found as well. But there is one mystery that baffles most of them, and that is Old Faithful Geyser. It's uh, the, in history's unexplained documentary, they reveal that this geyser in Wyoming has experts scratching their heads. The series of last week National Yellowstone National Park each year, more than 4 million people, they say, travel from all over the world to see it, to see can the canyons, the hot springs, the geysers, and other natural beautiful wonders. And the most wonderful sight of them all is the geyser that shoots on a regular level, like regular timing, the uh, superheated water more than 150 feet into the air. And we can view that on the Yellowstone um, National Park live webcam. 24-7. Now, it does not so much, uh, it does so at regular intervals, and you can set your watch by it most times, which is why they call it Old Faithful. Now, for centuries, we thought that this is a mere tourist attraction, uh, an example of Mother Nature, but what if we were wrong? What if it's proving a geological countdown? Michael Wissessian, professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences, Sciences at Washington University, explained why the geyser is a mystery to him, an enigma. He says, if you visit Yellowstone, it's spectacular. There are geysers all over the place. Some erupt every few minutes, some every few hours. But what is remarkable about, about Old Faithful is you can go there with a stopwatch and you can time almost to the minute when the next eruption will take place. Michael Denham, professor of physics and astronomy at the University of California in Irvine, says that Old Faithful shows there's still so much more to learn about Yellowstone. 
And he said, most of, the, of nature is radical and unpredictable, but the really surprising feature of Old Faithful is not that it's periodic and regular, because that happens in many places. It's that it has been periodic and regular for so long that's something that really shows us there's a lot we don't know about nature and a lot we need to learn. That's what he says. Now, American theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku of City University in New York left Jewers with more sobering thoughts. He said, Yellowstone is famous for bears, for magnificent geysers, but underneath your feet is a supervolcano at least 44 miles across. It's a whole network of magma pools that could one day blow up and cause tremendous havoc. It has happened three times in recent history, and we're due for another one, and who knows when, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a thousand years, two thousand years from now, it will happen. Now, USGS, of course, has previously put minds at ease regarding the overdue terms. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientist in charge, Jacob Lowenstern, said in 2014, when you see people claiming it's overdue, usually the numbers they come up with say the last eruption was 640,000 years ago, but it erupts every 600,000 years. But in fact, if you average eruption intervals, there's 2.1 million years to 1.3 million years and then another 640,000 years ago. So if you average them out, they come up to something that's over 700,000 years. So in reality, even if you tried to make this argument, it wouldn't be overdue for another 70,000 years. But still, it's a volcano, so we don't know what, what can uh, affect it. So this is uh, on, on um, Express UK by Callum Hoare. Thank you for your support, and please hear your comments. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.